Welcome to iPads in the Music Classroom. We're going to take a, a basic run through on GarageBand here. So what I'd like to have you do is to just uh, just launch GarageBand from your iPad. Simply double click on it. When you do this, this will bring up your GarageBand and uh, you'll be able to see your songs that you currently have. If you were working on a song recently, it'll probably bring up that song in front of you. If you click on the plus sign in the upper left-hand corner, you can choose a new song. When you choose a new song, it'll take you to the Instruments window where you can uh, select by scrolling through, just swipe your iPad and go through all the various instruments that are available to you. And we'll go through some of these at a later date. But uh, samplers, if you wanted to add a vocal, you could choose the microphone. If you want to uh, choose a guitar and have it go through an amplifier or drums or keyboard. So just to get used to the interface, let's just choose a keyboard. So if you just double tap on the keyboard, it will bring up the interface for GarageBand and will show you uh, the piano window. If you play the keys, you'll be able to hear the piano. Up on top are your controls. So My Songs is where you would go to open up your songs. Instruments is where we just came from. That's where you choose an instrument to go from. And the next button over is the piano keyboard. If you click on that, that will bring up, that will toggle back and forth between your piano keyboard. And the next button over here, right to the right of the button on the piano, is the track window. This shows you your different tracks that uh, you're going to be working on. Next to that, in the middle of the screen, upper, are your controls for rewind, for play, and for record. Next to that is your volume slider. If you click on that and drag it up a bit, about halfway, that would be perfect. Over on your right-hand upper side are some other controls that are very valuable as you edit and work with GarageBand. If you click on the loop, in the upper right corner icon. You'll see here where you can open up different loops for different instruments and things like this. These are kind of fun. So like for if I wanted a piano part uh, to play, if I just click on the very first one, the 70s Electric Piano 6, it will play that loop for me. And there's lots of loops here. If you just scroll through some of these loops down here, you'll see that you have absolutely tons and tons and tons of loops. And you can select loops by simply choosing the instrument. If you wanted to check uh, pianos, electric pianos, it'll list those. You can sort it by genre. So if I'm looking for a jazz piano, then it will only search for those jazz loops or rock blues in this case. <clears throat> and then you have descriptors. So those descriptors can be clean, uh, dry, kind of a grooving type of a patch so you can really narrow down onto which exact loop that you're looking at. If you click on the music tab on the part of this screen, you'll see that you can bring in albums.